Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey and uh, this week we are starting our journey, it's a short journey, right? It's just two weeks, so this week and next week we're going to stay in the book of Ecclesiastes. Beautiful book, very important book. It's a book from uh, the, 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 the human perspective in that sense. It's inspired by God, we know that, but it's, it's Solomon analyzing the whole world and say, look, it, it's it's not good, right? It's empty. It's run after the wind. Do you not gonna catch? It's uh, it's complicated. It's complicated, and, and his struggle. And I'd like to 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 encourage you to read the whole book because it's it's a great book in that sense because it helps us to understand how people that is smart must feel kind of gee try and, and the emptiness is still there. Uh, but before I read the verse for today, I'd like to encourage you to share this video with your friends and families and, uh, and help us to bless other people and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Verse for today, chapter 2, verse 1. Chapter 2, verse 1. Look at that. I thought in my heart, come now, I will test you with pleasure to find out what is good. But that also proved to be Meanliness, meanliness, empty, chasing the wind, pleasure, and 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 I and I thought because Solomon tried a lot of stuff, but I I picked the, this one here because we live in the world that people are doing stuff for their own pleasure, what they want, they want to feel good and they want to try, and they want to feel the emptiness that they have inside of them, in their hearts, with pleasure, with pleasure. This is what we're watching on the TV, movies, internet, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It's the pleasure to feel good, to make things, to, to, to so they, I will feel good about myself, and I, I do whatever I want, all that kind of stuff. And Solomon has a sad, sad advice for us. And he said, look, I tried that, okay? I tried that. I thought in my heart, come now. Let's try this. And, and this is his journey. He's telling the beginning of the, the book here. He's telling his journey. Let's try this. Let's try. How can I feel that emptiness in my heart? That vacuum that is there. Try this. Try pleasure. Do everything that you can to feel good. And see if you are going to be able to do it and feel it and and, 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 and and feel the emptiness but he says like the conclusions but that also proved to be meanliness yeah empty that didn't get anywhere with that pleasure didn't get me anywhere unfortunately People are not going to learn from Solomon, the wisest man in the world, in history. They are going to do the same thing that he did. They're going to try. And the result is going to be the same. Emptiness. Emptiness. So we need to be careful with that. We need to be careful. Because sometimes we just want, we're going to do things because we just want to feel good, to have pleasure, and think that that pleasure will fill my empty heart, and it's not going to do that. It's not going to do it, and we need to learn that. Only God can fill that place there, and it's very important for us to learn that. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.